Travel back in time to the golden age of the American South with our tour of the most breathtaking old money mansions in the region. You'll see firsthand the grandeur and elegance that define the South's most magnificent homes and gain insight into the lives of the elite who once called them home. On number four, we have Hearst Castle. On California's central coast, there lies a historic home called Hearst Castle. Between 1919 and 1947, it was constructed by William Randolph Hearst, a prosperous newspaper tycoon. Over a million people visit Hearst Castle each year, which attracts national historic landmark status. The 165 rooms total 68,500 square feet and combines a variety of architectural motifs, such as Gothic Revival, Spanish Colonial Revival, and Mediterranean Revival. The castle also has a sizable collection of international art, antiquities, and relics. Hearst Castle's building was a major endeavor that took many years and the labor of thousands of people. Julia Morgan, an architect who oversaw the project, collaborated closely with Hearst to realize his vision. Hearst's trips to Europe and his interest in art and architecture had a big impact on the building process. The marble from Italy, the limestone from France, and the wood from England were just a few of the foreign resources utilized to create the home. Beautiful gardens, swimming pools, and fountains on the site are evocative of those seen in European palaces. On number three, we have Jocelyn Castle, Omaha's ancient Jocelyn Castle. George and Sarah Jocelyn, publishing and timber millionaires, erected it in 1903. John MacDonald designed the 19,000, 360-square-foot Scottish baronial palace. It has 35 rooms, including a grand hall, drawing room, music room, and 24-person dining room. It has a carriage house and various outbuildings. The house has 5.5 acres of grounds, fountains, and a reflecting pool. Nearly all time, the estate shrank from nearly 30 acres. The Jocelyns gave the property to Omaha, which utilized it as a school and the Omaha Public Schools Foundation's offices. The Jocelyn Castle Trust, a non-profit organization, bought the house in 1989 and restored and preserved it. Jocelyn Castle hosts tours, events, and educational activities. Fascinating and true luxury, isn't it? Well, the remaining two mansions are not to be missed. On number two, we have mar -a -Lago. An old home called Ma-a-Lago is in Palm Beach, Florida, in the United States. It was created by architect Marion Sims Wyeth and constructed in the 1920s by rich socialite and entrepreneur Marjorie Merriweather Post. The 126 rooms of the 20-acre home include a sizable ballroom, multiple bedrooms and baths, as well as various dining and living areas. There are also tennis courts, a beach club, and a sizable pool on the site. The property was bought by the US government when Post passed away and utilized as a presidential retreat before being given back to the Post Foundation. Businessman and potential US President Donald Trump bought the property in 1985 and turned it into a private club. Trump updated the estate and built many other structures, as well as a spa and a fitness facility. He also increased the size of the land adding a golf course and other features. Mara Lago has grown in popularity as a vacation spot for rich people and famous people, as well as a location for important events and nuptials. It has also caused controversy, especially after Trump was elected president, as some detractors have voiced worries about the possible conflicts of interest that his ownership of the property may provide. On number one, we have Castle Hill. Located near Ipswich, Massachusetts, in the United States, Castle Hill is a historic home. Richard Crane, a successful manufacturer and philanthropist, constructed it in 1928. The palace, which is located on a 2,100-acre estate, was built by architect David Adler in the pattern of an English country house. The 59 rooms in the 59,000-square-foot home include a large ballroom, a library, a music room, and a dining room with seating for up to 70 people. Other facilities on the site include a greenhouse, a gatehouse, and a carriage house. 
The home offers breathtaking views of the surrounding countryside and is perched on a hill overlooking the Ipswich River. The estate has a farm, a network of hiking and horseback riding routes, as well as sizable gardens, forests, and meadows. The estate was left to the Trustees of Reservations, a non-profit organization that looks for and administers historic buildings and natural areas in Massachusetts by Crane after his passing. Today, Castle Hill is accessible to the general public and a well-liked vacation spot for those who like history, architecture, and the outdoors. Weddings and other private events may be held on the mansion's grounds. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating history and architecture of these magnificent homes and that you are now inspired to explore this legendary region for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, happy exploring!